Hello, dear teachers and my dear students. Welcome to the second lesson in history. Today, I am giving you more than 18 multiple choice questions in the second lesson history. My only intention is to help you to score 40 out of 40 in the MCQ in social science. Hope you are interested and you watch the entire lesson today and practice the same. Dear students, welcome to the second lesson in history, the extension of British rule. In this lesson, Hearty welcome to all the 10th standard students. Now, the first question is there before you. The British governor general who introduced subsidiary alliance was? You know very well, all of you will answer this. Yes, it was Wellesley. The governor general Wellesley introduced subsidiary alliance in the year 1798. It was forced on almost all the native rulers, particularly in South and Medieval India, particularly in South and Central India. Hyderabad Nizam, the rulers of uh, Awad, even Wadayas, and the Sikh rulers, Raja Ranjit Singh, and many others were made to accept this. Now, the second multiple choice is before you. The first Anglo Maratha war ended with a treaty of. Dear students, you must learn all the treaties and their effects as well. So, the first Anglo Maratha war ended with the treaty of Salbai. Your answer is correct. Hope you have very well answering all the questions. Now, question number three before you. The first state to enter the subsidiary alliance was. That means the first person or the first state to sign the Treaty of Subsidiary Alliance. Dear students, the correct answer is, yes, you are correct. It's Hyderabad. Option C, the Nizam of Hyderabad accepted the Subsidiary Alliance in the year 1798 itself. MCQ question number four. The Treaty of Subsidiary Alliance was based on Dear students, you have the question here. The Treaty of Subsidiary Alliance was basically economic agreement, political agreement, social agreement, military agreement. Which is the correct answer? Dear students, the correct answer is military agreement. Congratulations to all who have answered correctly. MCQ number five, the son of Peshwa Narayan Rao was none other than Yes, you are correct. Madhav Rao II. Madhav Rao II was appointed as the Peshwa as per the Treaty of Salbai. Keep this in mind. I have one more question related to this. MCQ question number 6. Dear students, you have the question here on the screen. The issue, this issue resulted in the infighting for the Peshwa post. Which issue Come on, read all the four options. The murder of Narayan Rao by his uncle Ragoba. The murder of Madhav Rao by his uncle Ragoba. The death of Maratha strongman Madhav Rao seeking help of British by Ragoba. These are the four options before you. Dear students, you have to have, you have, to have the command over the content of the textbook. As per the text, the information, the murder of Narayan Rao by his uncle Ragoba led to the infighting for the Peshwa post in Maratha territory. This was made use uh, well uh, by the British and they entered the politics of Maratha. Question number seven, MCQ question number seven, the British signed continuous friendship pact with options are Nizam of Hyderabad, Raja Ranjit Singh, Madhav Rao II, 
Baji Rao second. Dear students, as I said, you will have to have the even small points or whatever, you know, uh, even small uh, content or whatever, the small uh, topics, don't neglect anything. Don't neglect any of those. Please give more importance to every topic. As per that, Raja Ranjit Singh of Sikh Empire signed continuous friendship pact with the British. All the best and congratulations to all who guessed correctly. Dear students, and here is a question before you. The question is, Ragova approached the British for the support as option A. Kora and Allahabad were captured by Maratha Federation. Ragova killed Narayana Rao. The Federation selected Madhav Rao to, to the post of Peshwa. Maratha Federation signed the Treaty of Salbad. Which is the correct answer here? Dear students, you will have to read it very thoroughly, correctly. Ragoba approached the British for the support because, you know, the Federation, Maratha Federation selected Madhav Rao to, to the post of Peshwa as per the Treaty of Salbad in the year 1792. Now you have the next question. The Peshwa of Maratha as per the Salbai Agreement, as I said just, just now, it was Mahadava Rao second. MCQ question number 10. The main reason for the second Anglo-Maratha war was the differences among the Maratha chieftains, the death of Mahadava Rao, the enmity between Ragova and Maratha Federation, the interference of British in the Maratha's internal affairs. Yes, students, among these four options, the correct option is A, the differences among the Maratha chiefs. MCQ question number 11. Wellesley resigned his post and returned to England as there are four options before you. I hope many of you are answering correctly. His battle thirstiness increased the financial burden of the company. He lost the first Anglo Maratha war. Subsidy alliance was opposed by Indian rulers. He was called back by the British government, which is the correct answer. The students' textbooks very clearly give us information. His battle thirstiness increased the financial burden of the company. MCQ question number 12. Kora and Allahabad were given to Marathas by. You will have four options here. Shah Alam first, Mir Zafar, Jahangir, Shah Alam second. Yes, you are correct. It was Shah Alam second. The Mughal emperor gave Kora and Allahabad, which led to the enmity between British and Marathas. Because these two, Kora and Allahabad, were earlier given to British and they were trading in those places. MCQ question number 13. The death of Maratha strongman was a major setback to Maratha. Who was that death? Who was that strongman? He was none other than dear students, Madhavara first. Madhavara first death led to the uh, major political uh, confusion and it was a setback. MCQ question number 14. The two places by name Koregao and Asti witnessed. I mean, uh, what actually happened in these two places, whether it is First Anglo Sikh War or First Anglo Maratha War, First Anglo uh, Maratha, uh, Second Anglo Maratha War, First Anglo Maratha War or Third Anglo Maratha War. Which war took place here? Come on, think, dear students. Yes, many of you are very correct. It is option D, the Third Anglo Maratha War. Congratulations. MCQ question number 15. The humiliating Lahore Agreement ended, yes, the Second Anglo-Sikh War, the Second Anglo-Maratha War, First Anglo-Maratha War, the First Anglo-Sikh War. The correct option is the First Anglo-Sikh War. MCQ question number 16. Holker, Gwalior and Bosley formed an alliance to oppose the treaty called Salbai Treaty, Subsidiary Alliance, Bessin Treaty, Lahore Agreement. Dear students, as per the textbook content and the historical information, 
it is Bessin Treaty. Bessin Treaty was signed between British and Bajirao II and this was opposed by the Maratha subordinates like Holkar and the rulers of Gwalior and Ponsle family. Yes, students, you are recalling all those which your teachers taught, I think. Okay, I wish you all the best. And now we are for MCQ number 17. The British residency in Pune was attacked and burnt it down by. So you need to mention who, who it was. Madhavarao II, Narayan Rao, Baji, Baji Rao II, Madhavarao I. Dear students, it is Baji Rao II in the Third Anglo Maratha War attacked on Pune and burnt the residency of Pune. MCQ question number 18. The descendant of Shivaji Maratha territory, the descendant of Shivaji of Maratha territory in 1818 was none other than Pratap Simha. Dear students, MCQ question number 19. This is the last question. But one negative question is given before you, dear students. Usually in the annual examination, such questions will be avoided, but you cannot ignore it. You cannot neglect it. There may be such questions, but chances are very, very less. What is that question? The factor which is not included in the Treaty of Subsidy Alliance, which is that to have British resident in the court, the Indian soldiers should, have, should serve in overseas, the company had to pay the ruler every year to keep the British army in the kingdom. Dear students, among the option, the factor which is not included in subsidy reliance is very clear. Come on, all of you have very clearly answered because, uh, dear students, this is a general question. Actually, subsidy reliance is deleted in the portion, but uh, just I have included as the last MCQ. Uh, if you don't, if you can't answer, Nothing to worry, leave it because this subsidiaries and doctrine of labs are dropped. Okay, dear students, that the correct answer here is the company had to pay the ruler every year. That is option C. Dear students, I wish you all the best. I hope you have answered almost all the questions correctly. All the best. Keep studying. Scoring in MCQ is very easy provided you have the hold on content of the textbook. That's why keep reading the textbook. Thank you, dear teachers. Thank you, dear friends and students. Share this video to maximum number of students. Let them make use of this. All the best.